Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Today and let's look at some of the interesting and latest news from EV industry. First news is from Simple Energy. As you all know, Simple Energy is going on postponing the delivery dates of their Simple One electric scooter. Recently, after a long time, they gave an update on their electric scooter. So, Simple Energy is going to relaunch their electric scooter on May 23rd. As per Simple Energy, the main reason to delay the deliveries is its battery chemistry and the standards. So, previously, we don't have any uh, battery norms in our India. So, after some fire incident, government has strictly mentioned that each and every battery of the company should have AIS 156 certification. So as per the standard Simple Energy has certified their batteries as AIS 156 certified and they are going to relaunch their electric scooter as I mentioned earlier. So previously they have used NMC chemistry in their electric scooter but now they have shifted it from NMC to LFP. So in the coming electric scooter from Simple Energy we are going to see LFP chemistry battery in that scooter. So please let us know your thoughts on this Simple Energy electric scooter. Friends, next news is from MG. MG has launched their second electric scooter that is MG Comet recently and they have announced the prices of this MG Comet EV now. The showroom cost of this MG Comet EV is 7.98 lakh rupees. That means close to 8 lakh rupees. For 8 lakh rupees, you are going to get 17.3 kWh battery with 230 kilometers of certified range and uh, 150 to 180 kilometers of real range. And the design of this MG Comet EV is going to be very different. It will be so tiny so compact and so stylish i had already done a review on this mg comet ev so i'm going to drop that video tomorrow so stay tuned Friends, next news is from Freshbus. A company called Freshbus has tied up with Ixigo Travel Partner and they have launched an electric buses fleet from Bangalore to Tirupati. So I had also done a dedicated video on this. If you have missed that video, links are in the description. Head out and check it out. The video is very interesting. They are going to run this electric buses fleet from Bangalore to Tirupati and Tirupati to Bangalore. And the ticket cost is going to start from 399 rupees. So if you are interested to travel from Bangalore to Tirupati, or Tirupati to Bangalore, please try to use these electric buses. You can book these tickets of fresh bus from abibus.com. And soon they are going to launch these electric buses services from Hyderabad to Vijayawada and Vijayawada to Hyderabad. Friends, next news is from Open EV. Open EV has launched their first electric bike that is Open Drawer a few years back and they are yet to start their deliveries. Previously, they have launched this Open Drawer electric bike at an ex showroom cost of 1.25 lakh rupees, but now they have increased their electric bike prices to 1.5 lakh rupees. So, this is very unfair from Open EV. For this 1.5 lakh rupees, you are getting a 4.4 kilowatt hour battery with a 180 kilometers of IDC range close to 100 to 120 kilometers of real range and 100 kilometer per hour top speed. So if any of you booked this electric bike, please check this update. Friends, next news is from Log9. Log9 is a Bangalore based company and they have unveiled their first commercial lithium ion cell in our India. And they have unveiled first commercial cell manufacturing unit in our India. Ola is also working on this cell manufacturing, but Log9 is the first company to commercialize their lithium ion cells in our India. This Log9 has an annual capacity of 50 megawatt hour of batteries, which can power 800 units of three wheelers. By looking all this, I think soon the cost of the electric vehicles are going to come down. So what's your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comment section. Friends, next news is from Gogoro. Gogoro is a Taiwan based company and it's famous worldwide for its battery swapping technology. Finally, this Gogoro has launched their battery swapping stations in Delhi and Gurugram. They have opened two swapping stations in Delhi and, and two in Gurgaon. With the collaboration with Zip Electric, they are going to run these swapping stations. Zip Electric is a fleet of two wheelers which will rent its electric scooters to last mile delivery boys and food delivery boys. So now these delivery boys can use the Gogoro swapping station to charge their batteries. Friends, last news is from Tata Power. Tata Power with the collaboration with Coimbatore Municipal Corporation has opened charging stations in the Coimbatore city. If anyone of you living in Coimbatore and searching for charging stations, please look at this update. So these are some of the update and latest news from our EV industry. Please let us know your thoughts on this video and if you found the video helpful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Meet you in another interesting video. Until then, go green, go electric.